Today's caper is bankrolled by Be Our Guest Vacations. Book your next trip to Disney destinations around the world at BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT. And also by viewers like you through the WDWNT Interglobe Society or WIGS. Join today at Patreon.com slash WDWNT. Tom Corliss, and one of these three people could find him. Claire, Ben, and Dave. Today's episode is Annie Mae Comic Takeover, and now the man in charge of training new recruits, Nick Lo Cicero. Gumshoes, how y'all doing tonight? Yeah, you ready to play some Where in the World is Tom Corliss? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we have a lot to cover here today. So, you know, why don't we hear from the chief? Chief? All right, detectives. Our villain, Annie Mae Tronic, is an animatronic cowgirl with a screw loose. She was part of the original great movie ride design until she was replaced with live actors. Now... She wants to replace people all over Disney with animatronics. And what better way to start than with Disney fan and buckaroo Tom Corliss. On the morning of September 14th, Animatronic trudged into the offices of WW News Today, the worldwide leader in Disney Parks News, where she spotted none other than cowpoke Corliss himself, her intended target. Well, Annie Mae Tronic swung those saloon doors open to Studio 7 at the WWNT Studios in Celebration, and Tom said, what are you doing here? And she said, I'm Annie Mae Tronic. And he said, animatronics? I love animatronics. And she said, you're not going to love me as the tumbleweeds rolled by. She said, you're coming with me. And Tom said, but why would I go with you? I love animatronics, but I don't know you like that. She said, well, you're about to know me like that because you're going to come with me. I'm going to kidnap you. And Tom said, that doesn't sound good at all. And she said, I've got an honest review for you. You stink. And Tom said, that doesn't sound very nice. She said, well, you're going to come with me whether you like it or not. And then, well, she got real angry and Tom looked at her with his steely eyes, and then she looked back with her steely eyes, and he said, uh-oh, there's only room for one of us in this here studio. And Animatronic said, well, I got a lasso, and all you got is gelatoni. Chief. Oh. <laughs> Nick's coming. No. Right. Where were we? <laughs> oh, yes. Animatronic lassoed Tom and rolled him out the door. Now, sleuths. It's up to you to find Tom Corliss. All right. Thanks, Chief. All right, come shoes. What we're going to do is start you off with 50 core bucks each. All right. How about that? Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more core bucks. The two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. All right. All right. So let's get on with our first. Hey, do you guys hear something? I. It's coming from the alley out there. You know, hold on, Gumshoes. Um, I, I think that's Rob Capella. Rob Capella. Let me go check, see what he wants. Hey there, Rob Capella. How you doing? Hey, Nick. I, I, I got a confession to make. Like, here on the show? Uh, do, do you want me to get a priest? No, 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 not, not like that. Not like that. I, I, heard, I heard what the chief said, and I, I feel guilty. Come on, you don't have anything to feel guilty about. The, uh, in fact, this kind of stuff has been happening a lot around here lately. Um, that's you know, you, you couldn't have stopped that kidnapping. That's the thing, Nick. Though I, I saw it all happen, and I could have stopped it. I saw that root and tuned, root and tuned animatronic ruffle up Tom's feathers, and he lasted them right out the door. But I didn't stop him because I thought Tom was into some sort of great movie ride role play, and I, I didn't want to mess up the Anubis scene. Well, well, you see here, I'm more of a gangster guy. See, yeah. But listen, I'm ready to help now. I overheard some clues as where Annie was headed to, uh, to go next. So I wrote it down in a song if you want me to play it. Yeah, go ahead, by all means. All Take right. it away. Well, 
They went to a show inside the studio. This theater changed throughout the years. You could be a superstar, sing well, and you'd go far. Both of those shows disappeared. Back in 1999, you see this guy Doug Live. This fever dream was out of sight. Now in this show we all sing, and there's a queen and not a king. Good luck, I hope you get it right. All right, Rob Capella. Love that little ditty. All right. Thanks, Rob Capella. Now, Gumshoes, where in Hollywood studios did Animatronic take Tom? Was it Beauty and the Beast live on stage? The first time in forever Frozen sing-along celebration? Or Indiana Jones, epic stunt spectacular? Now, remember the clues we heard. Shows have changed in the theater throughout the years. You could play a part. Be a superstar or sing, Doug Live, and now we all sing with a queen. All right, Claire, which one do you think it was? What do you got? Frozen? All right, let's check the other contestants. Uh, ben, Frozen as well, and Dave. Frozen. Uh, neither of you wrote it out completely, so n no, just kidding. <laughs> you all got it right. All right. Good job to everyone. It is Frozen. All right. Excellent job there with that one. Now, can you believe oh, what man, was going it seems on? Seems like the I other keep day? getting. Your, do you guys it's, hear something? I, I, I saw I think like maybe. Tiffany other let's, day let's at a karate a match, and she was wearing slingbacks. Who wears slingbacks to a karate match? I mean, honestly, where do you think we are in like Hollywood studios? I swear I to Dick, got a bears are gonna go all the way this year. Uh, like seriously, again about the bears? I swear, you think we're a sports bar instead of a place for intersecting travelers to meet and share epic tales of food and drink? Oh, you want to talk about travelers? Did you see those two that were in here a little bit ago? Do you think they were in search of the fabled seven cities of gold? Uh, but, uh, God, uh, like, that wouldn't explain the outfits, though. Like, what even was that? A cosplay outfit from the worst dressed list? Yeah, and the cowgirl. Ew, seriously, who wears that? What do you think this is? hoop de doo review? As if we're so much better than them. Uh, hoop only has, like, what? Uh, a sangria? We have a flight of four different house-made ones. A flight? Now I know you're being modest. We got a whole university dedicated to sangria. Oh. My. God. All this talk of sangria is making me hungry. Did you mean thirsty? No, silly. Duh. We're beer taps. We don't get thirsty. Like, everyone knows that. Now, did you want the house-made guac or... Did you want to go inside for some tapas? Um, I can't believe you right now. It's pronounced tapas. Uh, how dare you? You are a tape ass. Your mom's a tape ass. You, you're telling me that I'm a tape ass? How I can't read the words. No, you're right. a tape well, well, ass. This is unknown. You're a tape ass. Maybe, may, may, maybe we shouldn't have gone and listened in on that. I don't know. All right, gumshoes. Which restaurant was Annie traveling through? Was it Three Bridges Bar and Grill, Rick's Lounge, or Dahlia Lounge? All right, remember the clues on this one? We heard a place for intersecting travelers, fabled seven cities of gold, four house-made sangrias, and a sangria university. On a side note, Sabrina and I will be hosting Liquid Magic at the Sangria <laughs> University next week, I think. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Claire, what is your answer on this one? I forgot how to spell it, but Dahlia. Me too. <laughs> da Dahlia? All right. Ben? I said Dahlia. Dahlia. And Dave? I went with the intersection. Went with three bridges. The correct answer is... Three bridges. <laughs> you got it right, Dave. It was the intersection. All right, very good, Dave. You got some points there. Now, whoa, what's going on here? Are these, are these bubbles? I love bubbles. I wish they would come closer to me so I can pop one. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> hey, Nick, over here. Huh. What? Where? Look at this. It's, it's Diver Debbie. <laughs> Hi, Diver Debbie. What do we owe the honor? I love Diver Debbie. Well, I was swimming in this beautiful habitat that has been designed by marine scientists when I see this hook floating down into the water. A hook in an aquarium? That's not good. No, with nearly 2,000 sea creatures in here, that's really dangerous. So what did you do? Well, I pulled on the hook, felt a tug, and I see this cowgirl sitting at a table trying to reel me in. Annie! I can't wait to hear what she said. Oh, oh! She said she wanted to replace me with an animatronic. An animatronic in enough water to fill 54 Olympic-sized swimming pools? Talk about a shocking idea. Clearly, she's already started a short circuit. How'd you get away? <laughs> the server dropped the check and they ran. I guess they left me on the hook for that, too. All right, gumshoes, where was Annie fishing for trouble? Was it Coral Reef Restaurant, The Seas with Nemo and Friends, or was it Turtle Talk with Crush? Remember the clues we heard. Habitat that's been designed by marine scientists, nearly 2,000 sea creatures, sitting at one of the tables and enough water to fill 54 Olympic-sized swimming pools. All right, Claire, what'd you got? Coral Reef Restaurant. Coral Reef, all right. Ben, how about you? I said the seas. The seas with Nemo, and finally, Dave? I went with the seas. The seas, all right, the correct answer is Coral Reef Restaurant. <laughs> all right. It's doing a great, oh. Oh, that means it's time for the lightning round. All right, contestants, grab your buzzers. We're going to give you a chance to win some extra core bucks here. We ask questions, you answer, lickety split. Each question is worth 10 core bucks, and they're all questions about things found in or around Epcot. Ring in as soon as you know the answer, and I will call on you. All right, here's the first one. That cantankerous cowgirl, Annie Maytronic, is headed to a location where she could replace a cast member giving a one-hour backstage tour of an attraction that features aquaponics system, combining height. All right, Ben. Living with the land. I didn't even give the choices. Can you ring in early? <laughs> Does he know what it is? I didn't, sorry, I didn't hear him. Living with the land. So, no, we're looking for a different answer. So, the the... This is a uh, cast member giving a one-hour backstage tour of an attraction that features aquaponics system combining hydroponics and aquaculture with fish. Is it the Behind the Seeds Epcot Seas Adventure? Is it Dive... Oh, sorry. Is it Behind the Seeds? Is it Epcot Seas Adventure Dive Quest? Or is it Journey of Water inspired by Moana? Dave. Behind the seeds. It is behind the seeds, yes. 10 points. <laughs> All right. So it is multiple choice, so hold, on, hold your buzzing and uh, you, we can you get some choices here. Uh, Annie May has a mind to replace a cast member whose responsibilities include answering questions and distributing complimentary scavenger hunt booklets featuring a fan favorite Pixar character. Is it Awesome Planet? Gateway Gifts or Sea Base? Claire. Gateway Gifts? 
Gateway Gifts, was that? Yeah. All right, no, that is incorrect. Okay. Anyone else? Dave or Ben? Can you repeat them? <laughs> uh, and Annie May is replacing a cast member whose responsibilities include answering questions, distributing complimentary scavenger books, featuring fan favorite Pixar character. Is it Awesome Planet or Sea Base? Dave. Awesome Planet. That is incorrect. <laughs> ben, you want to take a stab at it? <laughs> the last one. Sea <laughs> Base? Yes, 10 points. <laughs> Question three, by hook or crook, <clears throat> Annie Mae is determined to replace all the cast members at an attraction that originally featured only one maximum intensity version until too many guests reported issues with motion sickness due to the centrifuge. Is it Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, Mission Space, or Test Track? Dave. Mission Space. You got it. Ten points for Dave. Nick, my office. Coming, Chief. Gumshoes, I'll be right back. Whoa, uh, Chief, uh, what's going on? Is, is that? Lava? Yes, it's lava. Get up here. <sighs> oh, 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 whoa, this is, this is quite cozy. Uh, what, what's going on? How's it going? Well, uh, how's it going? It's a little warm, wouldn't you say, Nick? Well, yeah, it's probably the uh, lava in here making it warm. Yes, I Oof. thought you might have some ideas to help us get rid of that. Yeah, I mean, have you tried, uh, you know, just... Telling our home audience how they could win a Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt? Of course sure. I'll tell them. Live audience in the chat. If you would like to win a Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt, simply put hashtag gumshoe in the chat right now, and we will select three winners live on the show tonight. Um, actually, I was going to ask if you uh, asked them to stop... Just ask the lava to stop? Yeah, the lava. Uh, Try excuse it. Excuse me, Mr. Lava or Miss Lava. Uh, do you mind receding? Okay. Wow, I, I can't believe it had its own theme song. I, I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> of course it worked. Uh, lava has feelings too, Chief. You got to know that. You know, it probably has a dream that the hopes will come true. Uh, yeah, well, that, that's fine, Nick. Can I, can I, can I, can I go? Yes, now, yes, go, please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I get my badge back, too, yeah. Uh, all right, <laughs> I dropped it in the lava. All right, contestants, now that that crisis is averted, let's get back to the game. I've heard some clues were left in the alleyway, so... Let's check out your detective skills, why don't we? All right, that was quick. You guys got to the alley. All right, nice job. That was your first uh, detective win right there. Find the alleyway. All right, everybody uh, has a suitcase in front of them, right? You all got your suitcase? Very good, all right. Now, you notice all those suitcases have that, that little uh, zipper with the green sticker on it? Note that. Don't touch it. Just note it. I didn't say touch it. All right, you found your, all right, don't touch it. Sucks. Stop zippering your zipper. Do you find your green? Do you find the zipper with the green? Yeah, yours is hidden. That was tricky. <laughs> All right. Now, each suitcase in front of you contains a costume piece from a location Annie Mae was spotted. When told to go, you are to unzip the suitcase, open it up, and you'll begin to search through it. Once you find the costume piece, uh, you are then to simply close the suitcase lid. No need to rezip it, okay? You'll know it's the correct piece because there's going to be a card attached to it, similar, similar to this, similar to that. You'll see a card with a clue written on it. Uh, all clues will be heard prior to the first person who uh, finishes uh, guessing. Then every, I don't know, I don't got it. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure that part out when we get to it. We'll read the clues and we'll tell you what got it. I don't got it. All right, so you guys got it. You want to unzip. Open, search, then close. You ready? On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> you can throw those clothes, look at that. Lots of good stuff in there.
You get to wear whatever you want for the second half of the show, too. All right, looks like close. All right, one, two, yep. You're really looking. You have to wear it, too. Look to your left. Maybe there's a matching piece. I don't know. You guys looking to see if you have uh, his clue? <laughs> Did you find it? Yeah, there we go. Whew. That was that was getting close. I don't know if we picked the right recruits here. Um, all right. Ben, you were first. You, I think you found uh, you found your article of clothing. What is the word on your clue? Characters. All right, characters. The original character dine location for these characters was Restaurant Saurus, but that changed when this location opened in 2007. Keep that clue in mind. We're going to hear two more. Claire, what is your word? Restaurant. Restaurant. On this menu, you can find items throughout the day, such as Durban chicken, Simba waffles, and spit roasted herb chicken. And then I bet you, uh, uh, Dave, you have hotel? I do. It's you hotel. do? All right. I, I knew that. I'm like, I'm like Kornak. Uh, hotel, the original walk-up, which had the same name, was located under Hotel Burduca, known in town for housing drivers. All right. So those are your three clues. Ben, do you know what restaurant we're talking about? Is it Tusker House? Is it Tiffin's? Or is it Yak and Yeti? I'll say Tusker House. You'll say Tusker House. <laughs> Tusker House is right. Nice job. All right, that is 10 points for Ben. Excellent job there. Ah, now even though, oh, it looks like we're getting a phone call. Fortunately for us, though, the NTDA has intercepted one of Annie Mae's phone conversations. Let's see if we can listen in for a clue. Them gumshoes are just two whoops and a holler away from catching me. I'm trying to lay low and hide for a spell among a bunch of other animatronics. There's 45 of them around here, and I'm the only sage hen. I feel right at home, though, because this attraction was developed from a concept from the first ever human audio, audio, audio animatronic, which debuted at the 1964 New York World's Fair. I was originally going to hide in the atrium out front, but that idea wasn't with a hill of b b b beans, because there ain't no animatronics out there. Phone call there. Now, you each get to write down your answer here. It is... Um multiple choice so here you go i reckon we've rattled her a bit gumshoes name the attraction where annie may tronic is hiding out is it haunted mansion the hall of presidents or it's a small world remember the clues we heard 45 all male animatronics attraction developed from an idea that they viewed at the 1964 world's fair and the attraction has an atrium out front all right, Claire, what do you think it is? The Hall of Presidents. By the Hall of Fox. Presidents. All right, Ben, what about you? Hall of, Hall of Presidents. Hall of Presidents. And Dave, Hall, Hall of, of Presidents. Presidents. You all three are correct. It is the Hall of Presidents. Ten points for everybody. All right, right now Dave holds the lead with 100 points. Ben and Claire have 80. All right, everyone, we just received word that Animatronic hightailed it out of the Hall of Presidents. So let's pick up the chase. The chase. All right, pick up those buzzers and try to be the first to hit that button. First one to get the answer correct gets the points. Here we go. As she continues to hide among fellow audio animatronics, Annie Mae moseyed on over to the attraction that was originally featured at Disneyland and was not intended for the Magic Kingdom. 
That is until guest demand brought an abridged version to Florida. Unlike other versions of this attraction around the world, there is no restaurant attached to it. That's just fine for Annie Mae Tronic because robots don't chow down on food. Is it Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room? Is it Jungle Cruise? Or is it Pirates of the Caribbean? Claire? Pirates of the Caribbean. It is Pirates of the Caribbean. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's follow this chase. Robots might not need food, but they do need fuel. Annie is fixing up the fuel at an opening day attraction where guests can take a spin in a gas-powered car. Along the way, guests can hear announcements from legendary broadcaster Tom Carnegie. Is it Autopia, Tomorrowland Speedway, or Tomorrowland Transit Authority? Claire? Tomorrowland uh, Speedway. Tomorrowland Speedway is correct. <laughs> All right, following that chase here, we just got word that Animatronic cut a path to a merchandise location to fetch mouse ears as a way to blend in with the crowd. She took Tom to the only location in Magic Kingdom that currently features on-site embroidery. Is it Curtain Call Collectibles, The Chapeau, or Emporium? Dave. The Chapeau. The Chapeau is wrong. All right. Yep. That's not right. Claire. Curtain Call Collectibles. It is Curtain Call. Yes, 10 points for Claire. All right, gumshoes. Looks like Annie just skedaddled from the Magic Kingdom. She's headed over to the Ticket and Transportation Center. Oh. What? what? Okay. She took Tom. And, was that Tom? It, like, he must be close, right? If we can hear him. This is great. We're closing in on him. I love it. You know how to get Tom to speak up. Why don't we just say the wrong names of attractions? We'll find him so easily. He'll just start yelling at us. All right. Uh, she took Tom. I thought he was going to correct me earlier today because I did say Disney's California Adventure. He was probably really wanting to hit me for that one. She took Tom and hopped aboard a newly green ferry boat that is also used for the fairy tale fireworks cruises. It was originally named for the Kingdom Queen, but was later renamed in honor of a man Walt Disney hired to oversee the construction at Walt Disney World. Which ferry boat did they board? Was it Admiral Joe Fowler? Was it General Joe Potter? Or was it the Richard F. Irvine? Dave. Admiral Joe Fowler. That is not correct. Ben. Irvine. That is not correct. Potter? Claire? There you go. The Potter? It is! <laughs> Ten points for Claire. Not that Potter, Rob Cabella. Rob Cabella. Oh, with her accent. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. All right, Gumshoes, it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you're willing to risk. You can risk zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, or even 50 core bucks. You have wager cards in front of you. Please take the one you want to wager and put it face down in front of you on your podium. If you answer the next question correctly, we'll add it to your score. If you get it wrong, we'll subtract it. We believe Animatronic to be headed to a recreational-based location. If you know a lot about those locations, you might want to make your wager a little bit more. Only two of you can go on to the next round. Please take a moment to think about your selection, then make your wager. How much you gonna risk? How much you gonna risk? How much you gonna risk? Hopefully everybody got their wager. Um, let's start with uh, Claire. Claire, what is your answer? No, Wait. No. I, 
Where is the question? Right here. Yeah. You know what? That would be a great Wait, idea. <clears throat> She's been on such a roll, I thought she was going to know it anyway. I know, right? I, I, I was so excited to get to the wagers. But that probably is a good idea. You guys want a question? All right. Gumshoes, we've just received word. Oh, this is good that we're reading this. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> Animatronic hopped on the bus from the TTC and has taken Tom to a water-based recreation location. Legend has it that this location experienced extreme weather that wreaked havoc on what was once a tropical paradise. It boasts a water coaster that is propelled by powerful water jets, taking guests on a wild ride through both sudden drops and uphill climbs. All right, now you can write down your answer. <laughs> Probably easier with a question. <laughs> I'll take some music. All right, give you enough time for that. Claire, what is your answer? Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon is correct. I don't know what I said. How many, what? How many, how many core did you wager? What? Sorry? How many core bucks did you wager? Uh, 30. I put it in the corner. 30. Okay. We'll add 30 to your score. Ben, what was your answer? Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon as well, and you wagered? 50. 50, all right. <laughs> Brings you up to 130, and Dave, what do you got? Nothing. Like no, <laughs> how much did you wager? 40. 40, okay, that brings you down to 60, okay. All right, excellent job, gumshoes, but you know what? We're gonna have to eliminate one of you. And uh, with 60 points, uh, that's going to have to be Dave. Dave, thank you for playing. Oh, that animatronic, slick as a whistle. You are a great detective, though, Dave. Um, our friends at VR Guest Vacations have assembled a nice package for you. Uh, Chief's going to tell you all about it. Chief? It's the official Be Our Guest Vacations travel kit and includes a bucket hat water bottle, and lanyard. You will also receive three months of Unlocked Magic absolutely free. Thank you for all your great work on this case. All right. Nice job, Dave. All right, contestants, let's uh, go ahead and swim on over to Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. If everybody had an ocean across the USA, Everybody be surfing the California I've all been wearing the baggies So rock symbols too A bushy, bushy bond hairdo Surfing USA All right, it is time, contestants, to play Lou Warrant Crook. You guys have to find the Lou out here. You got to find the, the what? Chief. Chief. Oh, talk to the Chief. Is he explaining this? Excellent. All right, Chief, you explain this. I, I You probably do better than I can. Now, there are 15 places at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park where you might find Animatronic, Tom, or the Warrant. Let's look at a few of them. First up, we have the Beachcomber Shacks. Guests can upgrade their day by booking one of these private shaded areas with comfortable seating, a cooler, and even dedicated attendants on hand to help guests get the most out of their day. Could Animatronic be hiding out there in style? Next, Animatronic may get the gnarly idea to take Tom to the Typhoon Lagoon surf pool. Guests can experience the drama of six-foot swells at North America's largest wave pool, which is also available before or after hours for private parties looking to hang 10. Can you catch a crook at the Water Wonderland Catch a Kitty Creek? Kids can explore many water slides, splash in a cave with a waterfall, and take aim with a water cannon aboard the leaky tugboat SS Squirt. Finally, is it possible that Animatronic stashed Tom in the iconic Miss Tilly? Originally a shrimping boat, 
Miss Tilly got caught up in a hurricane and landed on top of Mount Mayday. Today, guests can see water erupting from her smokestack when volcanic activity starts rumbling within the mountain. Now, gum shoes. Let's not let animatronic slip slide away. Use every drop of energy you have to stop the deluge of crime and send the crook downriver to security. All right, will do, Chief. All right, contestants, you know how to do this. You got to find the loot, warrant, and crook in that order. They are hidden somewhere out here um, on this board. Um, you, I think, yeah, clear, clear has more points, right? Clear, yeah, so clear. You're going to get to go first. You're going to get to guess the location here. If you find the loot, warrant, or the crook, you get to keep guessing until you don't find one of those things. But you have to find it in those order, in that order, okay? So where would you like to look first? Castaway Creek. All right, Castaway Creek. Let's see what's there. All right, unfortunately, nothing. That's not a loot warrant or a crook. Ben? Uh, let's try a surf pool. All right, let's check the surf pool, see if we can find anything. Nope, just, uh, just walking across there, not much clearer. <laughs> Miss Tilly. Miss Tilly, that might be a good place to find a crook. Nope, nothing there as well. All right, we know we're everywhere where there's nothing, right? All right. Ben? Let's start up here. Gang playing Let's do balls. it. Gang playing balls. No. Oof. Okay. Come on, gumshoes. Let's see what we can find. Claire? Uh, storm slides. All right. The slides. Right. Which one? Storm slides. Storm, storm, slides. storm slides here on the bottom. Oh, you found the loot. All right. That is step one. You found the loot. Okay. You just need the warrant and the crook. Yeah. Okay, then I would go Happy Landings ice cream. Happy Landings. Let's see what's there. That's a good place for them. Oh, uh, no, nothing there. All right, so the loot will flip back over. Remember where that is. Ben, you do need the loot first, so I don't know if you want to try to get that mm. one or <laughs> go for something else. I mean, yeah, there's not many places do, left. Yeah, uh, let's do Storm Slides. Yeah, so we'll do the Storm Slides. The loot. The loot. <laughs> All right, and where's low the Low Tide Loot. I don't think we've looked there yet. Let's see. Low Tide Louis. Yeah, Louis. Low Tide Louis. <laughs> see what's there. Oh, nothing. Oh, man. I got excited there. That delay was like, oh, there's something there. All right, Claire, your turn. Okay, so let's go Storm Slides. Still Storm Tom. Slides. <laughs> and Keyhole Falls. All right, Keyhole Falls is nothing. Oh, man. That warrant, that crook really hiding on you guys. All right, All Ben. Right, storm slides. Storm slides. Tom. Good place to start. To Adventure Falls. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Adventure Falls. The oh, crook. The crook. All right, so wrong order here. Um, now, if you, you know, you got, you got, you got to find them in the right order. So I don't know if you want to. Go ahead. You got to pick one more. Hmm. Let's do the surf pool. The surf pool. All right. Smart play. Not giving it away. All right. So, Claire, you know where the loot is. Mm -hmm. You know where the crook is. You know where a lot of stuff isn't. <laughs> but did you remember where we didn't check yet? Yeah. All right. Uh, storm slides? Storm slides. All right. Tom. Um, let's go to let's go surfing. Uh, slurping, sorry. Nothing. Oh, boy. All right. We'll turn him over. Right. Ben? Storm slides. Guess who? <laughs> it's Tom. Beachcomber shacks? Yeah, I don't think we looked there yet, huh? The beachcomber shacks. It's up top. Beachcomber, beachcomber shacks. shacks. Right up top. There you go. Oh, nothing. Oh, man. Okay, uh, All right, storm Claire. slides. Storm slides, Tom. good place to start. <laughs> the, um, Claire. a leaning palms. Leaning palms, that looks like a good place. Let's see if the warrant's there. Leaning palms. Second, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> All right. Then you've got it. Storm slides. Storm slides. Tom. All right, man. Catch a kitty creek. Catch a kitty creek. <laughs> I have not, not where I want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. All right, clear. 
Storm slides. Yes. Still time. Remember where we haven't looked yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Humonga Cowabunga? Have we done that one? Humonga Cowabunga? The Warren. Warren. <laughs> now, where was that crook? Uh, Misadventure Falls. So, Misadventure Falls is the crook. <laughs> oh, yeah. She turned over everything. All right. All right. Let's put that crook in, in jail. Hit the button. There you go. Yeah, you hit hard enough. Look at that. Putting that criminal away. All right, good job. Good job, stay right there. We gotta say goodbye to Ben. Ben, it's been great having you here. You're a fantastic <laughs> detective. Thank we appreciate you. your Thank services. You. Um, and I think we might have uh, a little prize fact for you. Uh, Chief, do you know anything about this? Great detective work is always a team effort, and we would like to reward you for being such a key player. That's why we're going to award you with these fantastic prizes, including a gift bag, Three months of Unlocked Magic, absolutely free. And this Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt. Now, I swear my refrigerator had a cigarette, but that's a case for another day. Oh, boy. Be our guest loves to give stuff away for free. We love it, too. All right. All right. So, excellent job. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to be going on. The oh, we got a phone call. We got a phone call. Hold on. I think. Oh, here, here it is. All right. Hello? Yeah, no, I know I messed that part up. But <laughs> that part too. No, I, I know. I got. I understand. You. Oh, you want to talk to Claire? Claire, this is for you. Here, here you oh. go. Come here. Yeah. Hello. Hello, diddy diddy gumshoe. Sometimes you get, and sometimes you get got. And it turns out my boss didn't have the same hankering for animatronics the way I did, and put on stabbing me in the back. Blamed it on some sort of blue sky project. So while you may think everything's above board and that you found Tom, you best hold your horses because you've been bamboozled. What you cowpokes didn't realize is that in all the uproar, I replaced Tom with an anime-tomic version. <laughs> Good luck finding where I stashed the real Tom around these parts, you yellow-bellied varmint. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I can't believe she did that. Let me. Oh, my God. This isn't dumb. This is... Look at the lever. We should have known. Tom doesn't have a dial like this. And this dial only goes up to six. If Tom had a dial, it'd go up to seven. We know that. So I, I don't know. I mean, Tom has just about as many crumbs, though. That's for sure. But I... I can't believe we got bamboozled like that. What? What? Gumshoe, you're going to have to help us find the real Tom. Yeah. All right. Why don't we do this after this short break? <laughs> Welcome back. I feel like a mighty wizard. Like this thing. All right. Um, all right. First of all, we are going to announce the winners of the T-shirt. Uh, and so we have three winners here. We have Doug Rosenthal. Joe LaBelle and J.C. Bobbitt. Wait, did I, what, did I say that wrong? Level? I got a new shirt. I never said your last, shut up, Joe. <laughs> All right. Uh, Claire, come on over here. All right, so if you accomplish the, uh, the, the map yeah. at the end here, you get a, a paid like trip at Walt Disney World, a paid stay, right? <laughs> so I'm going to have you all behind the scenes here. These are your choices right here. Uh -huh. I think it's just the four of these. There's another paper there. Is there more choices? Oh, no, just the four of those. <laughs> all right, circle the one you'd like to stay at oh, okay. if you win tonight. Um, yeah, I know. I know, choices. right? Look at the choices. That one. All right. Can't go wrong, right? <laughs> no, the right. Do you Excellent want job. Stay? We're going to lock this up and put it in a safe. <laughs> safe. Safe place. All right. So, Claire, yes. you know the rules. You've heard it before, but I'm going to explain it a little bit again here. So we have some locations at Walt Disney World that we're going to give you, OK? You have a minute and a half to locate eight of those locations that we give you, okay? Now, in order to lo locate one of those, those locations, all right, say 
say I said something and you thought it was like right there, right there. You put the staff right on that spot, okay. all right? And if it's right, this will light up. And I think you'll hear a yes sound. Do we have mm -hmm. that? What did she hear? That, there you go. That means correct, all right? What does it do if it's wrong? Does it do anything? It does that. So that's how you know if it's wrong, right? You get two okay. chances with each one, all right? If you get one right, you got to come back to the compass, right? Okay. And I'll give you a new clue. You run out there, you find it, you come back, so forth, all right? We do that eight times in a minute and a half. No problem, right? And you got this. If you want to pass, you can pass at any time. Just say pass, come back to the compass. I'll give you another location to go after, OK? OK. Now, you had plenty of time to study this map. Does this look right to you? I mean, have you been around all these different places at Walt Disney World? No. No, OK. <laughs> have you ever flown over Walt Disney World and looked down like this? And no. Have you ever studied the Google map of Walt Disney World at home? A little bit, but not A little bit. All right, time. good enough. Here's your staff. <laughs> Let me go get your clues. I'll be right back. The chief does? I th oh, I thought the chief already did that. I'm sorry, chief. Go ahead. Gumshoe, here is a list of places that Tom might be. Kilimanjaro Safaris, the Hollywood Brown Derby, Dinosaur, the Friar's Nook, Electric Eel Game Room, Fuentes del Moro Feature Pool, Tangerine Cafe, Sandbar, Lottawada Lodge, La Vida Health Club, Fulton's General Store, and Happy Hound Kiosk. Nick, let's go to the map. You only need eight of them. All right, we got this. All right, the clock will start when you start heading out for your first one. Here is the first location. Okay. Dinosaur. I'm looking there. I'm looking there. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm uh, uh, then you go in, and then you go round, and then you go so. All right, come back, come back, come back, come back. All right, the Hollywood Brown Derby. That's in Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios is is here, um, and it's around. All right, come back, come back. All right. What a what a lodge. <laughs> you can pass. 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 Kilimanjaro Safari. Oh. oh, that's Animal Kingdom. That's 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 kind of at the back with, with the green. All right, very good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come back. Fulton's General Store. Pass. Tangerine Cafe. Pass. The Friar's Nook. Friar's Nook. Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. No, that's not. No, but you can't. <laughs> All right. Ha happy Hound Kiosk. No, I did pass. Sandbar. Sandbar. That sounds beachy, isn't it? Is that like Typhoon Lagoon or something? There's a beach? No? I don't know. Oh. oh I have no idea. Yeah, you got three of them. You got three of them. Three out of eight. Yeah, we... <laughs> Um, why don't you come show her the ones she didn't find? <laughs> come. I found two! Oh. It's tough. I was, I was at the Brown Derby. Uh, I, le I left my Cobb salad for this. All right. Good to see you, Tom. No, get off the map. I got to run around. All right. What, so what you are we missing here? Brown Derby. The Brown Derby's at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Hollywood Studios faces... Uh, this way, this is the entrance of the park. Oh. So blue is this is Hollywood Boulevard, Sunset, uh. Echo Lake. So. Ladawada Lodge. Ladawada Lodge is Blizzard Beach, right? There's the go mini golf, Blizzard Beach, right? Fulton's General <laughs> Store. Fulton's General Store is going to be <laughs> Riverside. Right what was that? Mike. Mike? Oh, my mic's not on. Cool. I was kidnapped. Of course I don't have a mic. How about so, the yeah. ta Tangerine Cafe? But quick recap. Hollywood Boulevard, right? <laughs> Blizzard Beach over here. And then where were we? Riverside. Riverside. This is Fulton's is the store at Riverside. What else you got? Uh, Tangerine Cafe. Tangerine Cafe is Epcot, Epcot, Epcot Morocco. Morocco. Happy Hound Kiosk. That's Marketplace at Disney Springs. The yes, Marketplace is. is this end. Oh. Down here. That. How about the sandbar? The sandbar is actually, you were looking for a beachy place. No, 
It's actually not. It's actually Disney's Contemporary Resort. Why not? Is the sandbar. Electric Eel Game Room. Electric Eel Game Room is Old Key West? Yes. That's right, yeah. Um, Old Key West is going to be this one, right? Because th this is this gets super confusing back here, right? Because you might base it on the road, but Riverside, French Quarter, Old Key West, Saratoga. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> we should have saved this one for next week. Well, if we didn't read it yet, don't. Yeah. Did you read it? Oh, then? no. If you didn't read it, leave okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Chief said it. Oh, did? Yeah, then go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Oh, thanks, Eric. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what that's does it. Del Moro feature Is that pool? Caribbean? <laughs> yeah, Caribbean Beach. Cool. I'm good at this. Uh, <laughs> Caribbean. Wait, I'm lost now by Epcot, right? Is Caribbean? Well, Caribbean has the Skyliner, right? So that's got to be, uh, we're over here somewhere, right? Even I'm confused. Oh, here's Caribbean Beach. Because here's this ugly, this ugly stupid thing's in the middle of it, the uh -huh. Riviera. But here's Caribbean Beach. It has two sides of the, of the water there. Yep. Yeah. And then La Vida Health Club. Is that Coronado? Yes. That's Coronado. Coronado Springs is over. This one's easy because the three bridges. For those of you going to play in the future, the easiest way to tell Coronado, the three bridges are very visible right there, right? That one's nice and easy. Oh, yeah. There you go. There we go. And then you would have heard, <laughs> I'm blind now. But, yeah. Well, thank you, Claire. You were a great thank detective. You. No, thank you. Yeah, you, you did a fantastic job. We appreciate your, everybody who played tonight. What does the chief think? Does chief have words for her? We should find out. I always forget about the chief. Chief, come on, what do you think? I wasn't even here for rehearsal. <laughs> Tough break. You were so close to finding Tom. They really moved him around that map. But you are not leaving here empty-handed. We are awarding you the Be Our Guest Vacations gift bag. Three months of Unlocked Magic, absolutely free. A Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt. And 10 core bucks for each point you scored tonight. Congratulations. And thanks to our friends at Be Our Guest Vacations. You sleuths at home can find them by going to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WW. NT. Once again, fantastic work, Gumshoe. And until next time, we salute you. All right. Thank you, Chief. You didn't Good find guy. me again. No, we no, can I never found find me. you. No, I found me. Yeah, I don't know. I could have been killed again. Is this when we tell Rob to start playing or we all dance? Well, no, because we actually have to do oh. something real quick. We got to go read some super chats real oh, quick. Oh, okay, we can do We're that. We're going to go read super chats, <laughs> and then we'll, then we'll dance. I'm, right. I'm, bring, I'm bringing enough. my staff with me. There you go. Josh Hopkins, 189, I'd rather stay at a Mel Brooks hotel than Disney. All right. That was during Space Bowls. Starts with the Inquisition. Uh, Sam Fritz, 199, Philadelphia over Minnesota, 34-28. Boo. Nicholas Petronella with the blank yeah. super chat. <laughs> I love this thing. Sam Fritz, 49, this show has gone on so long we bled into Sunday uh -huh. night football. The Jets already trail the Cowboys 14 nothing after one quarter. That's so good. I've been enjoying all the Jets memes this oh week, I would so say, good. as a Dolphins fan. Pretty cool, ten dollars. Are you all still there? It's over. Go home. Try it. Wow. There you go. Oh, that means the show's over. Oh. So all right. We have a post show coming up. If you're a Wigs member, thanks for watching. Where in the world is me? Do it, Rob Capello. Ba -ba 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 well, the drinks around the world. Better to go to China. He's an internet reporter. Magic Kingdom to the spring I'll take you for a ride Friendship boat or on Skyliner Tell me where in the world is Tom Corliss Some space in Space Mountain Make some monorail seat double From the TTC to Epcot Or to Typhoon Lagoon Tis Ohana to Ohana And goes cruising through the jungle Tell me where in the world is Tom Corliss Look where to Way, then coast there to Launch Bay, Port Orleans to Country Badger, every test track. He'll 
whip up some dough whip Then he'll visit creepy old cribs Beachy blizzards during summer Then rope drop spaceship earth Counts down to extinction He still cries about a rising sun Where in the world is the Tom Corliss? Saratoga to Bay Lake Then Fort B, a watercraft company to trolley Then Boardwalk Old Key West he soars around the globe as he screen bends every nation. He's a pin trading shark with a taste for color thing. His itinerary is loaded with dining reservations. Tell me where in the world is Tom Corliss? <laughs>